Hello and welcome to this edition of SAC News. I'm Aaron Hernandez. And I'm Lucero Garcia. On this edition of SAC News, an upcoming performance by SAC's music department. And a free event at the Browse Museum. But first, we would like to start this episode by remembering SAC head football coach Anthony White. Anthony, died, Anthony White died following a cancer diagnosis earlier this year. A statement from SAC Athletics Director Mary Hagerty said, Anthony has left an indelible mark on South SAC Athletics and everyone who was blessed to know him. Our hearts and prayers are with the White family and all of the students and athletes and colleagues he so positively impacted over the years. White was hired as head coach for the Santa Ana College football team during the summer of 2021. In three seasons at, at the helm, he posted a record of 21 to one including a 2021 American Metro League Championship while earning Coach of the Year honors in his first season. Anthony is survived by his wife, son, and his children, Anthony White II and Olivia Grace. Services are pending. In other news, Sax and Mariachi had their winter concert where, the, where they performed a variety of mariachi genres. High school and university students from across the country were invited to perform with the mariachi group. Almost every student got to perform a song of their choice, with about 20 songs performed in total. Sax Mariachi professor Oscar Garbial laid down his plans for the next semester. A goal, a vision that I have in mind for the spring is to try to do a, a collaborative festival with all these different entities. And not only, not only mariachi music, but also ballet folklorico. Um, if we can get some of those like rope dancers, that would be so awesome, you know? So, um, yeah, I want it to be more of a festival for the spring. And speaking of music, the SAC Music Department is preparing for its upcoming Fall Piano Showcase. The performance will feature pianists from the faculty and student body playing live on stage. SAC's assistant professor of music, Dr. Jin Wun Jin, will direct the performance. The two hours showcase takes place in the Phillips Hall Theater on Friday, December 1st. Admission is free, and this event is open to both the students and the general public. Music starts playing at 5 p.m. For more information and where to buy tickets, visit the SACS website. Posture stress is coming back. Dogs of all shapes and sizes are coming to Santa Ana College to help students with stress of finals week. The Associated Student Government and the Health and Wellness Center teamed up for the event. SAC students will have the opportunity to enjoy the comfort of a friendly furry dog. They hope to, that the dog helps them reduce their tension and helps students have a positive mindset through finals. The event will be on December 5th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Central Mall. Bowers Museum is hosting a celebration of winter holidays. Organizers say it will be a day of fun activities for the entire family to enjoy. The event will have face painting, art project, and live performances. The winter holidays is sponsored by the Nicholas Endowment, a private foundation who provides support to charitable organizations like Chalk Children's and the Ocean Institute. This event is free and will only take place on December 3rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more information on the event and for more activities that you can do, you can visit the Bowers Museum's website. And if you can't make it to that event, don't worry. The Bowers Museum will be hosting a free drawing event titled Drop In and Draw, where you will get to watch and draw Looney Tune characters. Skilled artists will be teaching attendees to draw the characters while also encouraging them to express their own creativity. This event is for all ages, but children must be accompanied by an adult in order to attend. The event will take place on Saturday, December 9th from 10 a.m. till noon. For more information, visit the link below. When we return, a pop-up event at the Frida Cinema. And an event for individuals with Alzheimer's or dementia at the Santa Ana Library. My goal wasn't to have a great program just at Santa Ana College. When I came here, my goal was to have one of the best programs in the country. When you come here, we aren't trying to rush the students through a program. We're actually taking time. We're getting to know the students personally. The first time a student came to me and said, hey, I got a career and I can provide for my family now. You know, that's, that's really what gets me excited about teaching and my passion that drives it is helping people succeed in life. Welcome back, Dons. The Frida Cinema held a pop-up event in honor of the new Priscilla Presley movie, where they encouraged attendees to dress up uh, for the event to get free popcorn. The screening took place at 8 p.m. and there was also vendors selling clothing inspired by the film. Attendees happily gathered around and a vendor shared what this event means to her. Having these kind of themed events, like we don't really get a lot of these like collaborative 
events as much these days, especially when it's so like revolved around a certain theme, because they have like the theme drinks, and it's just like a whole little thing. You can make a whole night out of it, and it just makes everything more fun. Every Friday, the city of Santa Ana hosts an open street food fair event called Friday Night Munchies. This free event is held from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Bristol and Edinger Avenue, where parking is also free. This event will have contests, giveaways, and a variety of cuisines from different countries, such as Mexico, El Salvador, the Philippines, and more. The city is currently accepting applications for vendors. Friday Night Munchies ends on December 29th. For more information about this event, or if you're interested to become a vendor, visit their Instagram below. Plaza Calle 4 is hosting Dancing in the Streets. Each Saturday of the month, you can dance around downtown Santa Ana, which offers a different style of music. During the event, there will be artists and vendors, music, and galleries to look at. Free dance classes will also be taught. Flats are recommended since the dancing will be on concrete. This event takes place on December 3rd at 6 to 10 p.m. For more information, visit the Travel Santa Ana website. The Santa Ana Public Library is hosting the Memory Lab, aimed to preserve valuable memories. Families and friends of individuals with Alzheimer's or dementia are invited to bring photos or any other memorabilia to create memory books. Scrapbooking supplies will be provided alongside with printers. It will be held on Wednesday, December 5th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. This event is also open to anyone who would just like to scrapbook. For more information on the event, visit the Instagram page below. With Christmas coming around, the annual Pancakes with Santa is back. The police department will be having fun holiday activities with the man of the season. They will be having breakfast pancakes provided by Loaded Cafe. This event will take place in front of the police headquarters located at the Civic Center Plaza. And it will take place fr uh, from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. For further information and questions about the event, visit the Santa Ana Police Department's Instagram page. That's it for this edition of SAC News. I want to thank the whole team and my producer because this is our last show. And I just want to thank everyone for having their, putting in their time, writing their stories. And I want to thank the professors that also helped us throughout this whole process on figuring out who we were and um, bettering our journalism skills. I've been here since uh, 2019 taking both the, um, the journalism and the behind the scenes class. I want to thank uh, the techs, Mauro and the Professor Taylor for helping me out with both the technical and the journalistic aspect. I will forever, forever cherish my memories here at Santa Ana College and especially SAC Student News. Be sure to follow us on social media and watch previous episodes of SAC News on our YouTube channel. <laughs>